going on YouTube as you can see um, these are some of the scenic views and, and that I was trying to tell you about in some of the other videos uh, but yeah this is my work day this is my work day this is my desk right now I'm, I'm in my desk why because with cryptocurrency you can work from anywhere with trading and investing, you can work for any from anywhere. So literally, if you have crypto and you're getting passive income, it doesn't matter where you work, you're making money. But on top of that, what am I doing right now? I'm actually, I'm working right now, active income with DoorDash. So you would probably think, oh, you, you moved to Hawaii with no job, no degree, all these different factors, how are you there? How are you doing that? Well, one, I'll tell you, cryptocurrency. Two, I'll tell you, is pursuing jobs where you don't have a boss and where you don't feel like you have a job. So for the last three or four years, I've been doing Uber. Um, but right now I, I switched um, to DoorDash because I don't have the paperwork to do Uber here in Hawaii yet but I have DoorDash, so it's actually cool because I get to just explore the island and deliver food. Um, so a strategy, if I was still on the building of my investment portfolio would be to invest all the extra income that I made from Uber. So you do Uber, you get to pick your own hours or DoorDash or any of these gig work types of jobs but what you do is, because you're not gonna make big money from those jobs, but when you complement it with investing, you can make 30,000 a year and still get rich, as long as you're investing most of your money. So a good strategy for getting wealth and getting real money coming in the way you want to, to where you can really do whatever you want, is Uber, DoorDash, those are what I chose, but any gig work where you don't have to have a job, if you have a job, that's fine. But I feel like this is even better because it's like you get the freedom of being able to do whatever you want, but you also get to like make money and pass it. So like my point is, if you have a job, yeah, you can apply this also. But I feel like having a gig type of job where you're on your own boss, you're not an employee, you're self-employed. That's the difference. That's the point I was trying to make. There's no job. There's no boss out here. And again, I'm living in Hawaii with these views. I don't have a job. I don't have a degree, but it's possible to live like this when you combine a couple of smaller type of income. You don't need to go to college for four or five years and get a degree that can earn you a six figure paying job. You simply don't have to do it. I'm proof you don't have to do it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share some of the scene, uh, scenery here um, and some of the views. And this is just, I'm just delivering around the island, DoorDash. I'm looking at the investments. Bitcoin's up to 42,000. Um, so I'm just making this video to really, I mean, this is, I dreamed about this and I assume other people dream about it too. And the crazy thing is two years ago, I was dead broke. I was dead broke two years ago. Now I am chilling on one of the most beautiful islands in the world, just delivering food for people and trading and investing, driving around, cruising around the beautiful islands. Um, so it's very possible. Uh, my suggestion and advice would be to combine. If you want to feel more like free and more independent and have freedom, you do a self-employed gig work type of job. And then you simply combine it with investing, particularly crypto investing, because it has the highest possible return on investment. And then you just keep, you keep working, you keep accumulating, you keep, you never have to go to school for five years and get some crazy degree that's super difficult to attain. You simply work and you remain consistent with that work and you consistently accumulate more capital to invest. And once those cap, once that those investments start growing, you eventually can take the foot off the gas 
as far as uh, the active income goes because eventually the passive income will surpass the active income. And then you'll be making more in the passive income. So the active income, it'll sort of be like, why am I doing this? But in this case, it's fun, it's relaxing. Before, I had to work 12 hours a day driving around Uber, which yeah, it's still self-employed. I still get to pick my own hours, but I was picking more hours, not less, because I wanted to gain more capital. But now, I'm only door dashing like four hour, three, four hours a day, and then I'm calling it a day just to kill some time. But really, my main income is definitely investments by now. Um, but you gotta put in that grind and you gotta put in that work to initially build up that investment portfolio to where your investments take over your active income. And then it's just a matter of managing your investments properly. But one more look. These, these are the work views right here. Chilling completely chilling why would I be in a warehouse making $12 an hour when I could be out here living the dream life with palm trees and amazing views you can do anything in this life you just got to put together a plan and you got to put together the mindset that you can achieve it and you will peace out